High school students across Maine got their chance to launch some science projects into space. It's part of a program funded by the state to try to get students interested in going into the space industry after high school. New Center Maine's Lorraine Muir gives us a closer look. I think it's cool just space in general. Like reaching heights you can never be at unless you're an astronaut. Like 90,000 feet is a very insane. Trenton Bodwin is in the Foster Career and Technical Program at Mount Blue High School. He's set his sights on using space science to solve the world's climate crisis. Last night, his class launched the space balloons with projects inside. The goal of his is to learn more about the cause and effect of ozone layer depletion. So it's, it's just really fascinating to see and learn about what's up there and how it, how it can affect us in the future, maybe. Emily Dwinnells is the project coordinator with the Maine Space Complex. She says education is the foundation of what they are building on. Getting kids familiar with space, making them realize it's accessible to them and that they're able to have the skills and develop the skills to actually be a part of it is really our mission. Even though people may not realize it, space has an enormous role in our day-to-day -day lives. Data collection using satellites is a big piece. It's responsible for GPS. Apple phones now include space-related satellites to give you connectivity anywhere you are in the world. Not necessarily all astronauts. That might be the thing that many aspire to, but there are many different careers um, kids can pursue uh, in space. And as for Bodwin, he's leaving his space career trajectory wide open. Mechanical engineering is very fascinating to me. It's something along that line, just aerospace engineering, anything like that. Uh, it's amazing. I mean, getting kids interested in space and excited about learning about science and math, something that's, you know, very important, both in Maine, across the nation, internationally. In Bangor, Lorraine Muir, New Center, Maine.